Toward the end of his second term, our first president, George Washington, a very honorable man, wrote in his farewell address, I hold the maxim no less applicable to public than to private affairs, that honesty is always the best policy. That honesty is always the best policy. In, in our American history, you can't get much nobler than the George Washington. And he flat out states that honesty is the best, and that honesty is always the best policy. Good morning, classmates, and Mr. Etiquette. I stand up here representing the negative side with the resolution, resolve that honesty is not always the best policy. By the end of this values debate, you will realize that it is the virtuous and good values that will win. The famous maxim, honesty is the best policy, dates back to 1599, where Sir Edwin Sandys, a prominent English politician, and prominent in the Vir Virginia Company that found the settlement in Jamestown in America, wrote in his work called In Europe's Sep Sepulchre. Honesty is the best policy is a phrase that has a literal meaning. It, is, it should be obvious that it means telling the truth is always the best option. This is because if one lie is told, it is likely to lead to another lie having to be told, which is most likely lead to another lie having to be told. Eventually the truth will be known, but it will not be without trouble. Because all of the lies will be discovered, less trouble would have happened if no lies were told. Truth and honesty, trust and honesty come hand in hand. To gain someone's trust, you have to be honest to that person. And going off of that, trust is the key to any strong relationship, whether it is romantic or platonic. I think we're all aware that in the end, most lies fall, and trust and the truth will come out. It may be right away or months later, but the truth will always come out. So when we are caught in an act of lying, we lose someone's trust, and, when we, and we need people's trust in order not to be alone. So how can it be possible for honesty not to always be the best policy? We need to be honest with one another, or we lose relationships and we are all alone. Life is about working together, which is a build upon being honest with one another. Going off of gaining one's trust, being honest also makes one credible. There are going to be people now who won't take advice from Lance Armstrong on how to be a professional cyclist because he lied and lost all credibility. This goes with the idea of, idea of integrity and character. If you do not follow the maximum of honesty is the best policy, then you won't have any of these. That is why, on, that is why it is always the best policy. You make one big lie and people won't, will doubt your credibility in anything. If someone is a good liar, then you, can, then you can't trust them. If you witness someone you know telling a lie to someone else and you are aware of the deception only because of the inside knowledge you have, then you would, you would be foolish to think that the person would not be capable of lying to you in a similar con convincing way. So once you get into the business of deception, you lose credibility, you lose your good name, and life gets more complicated. People lie to avoid hurting others, hurt, hurting others' feelings, to avoid getting into trouble or out of habit. If someone asks you for your opinion, offer it. You don't have to be cruel in order to be honest. If your friend doesn't look good, look. If your friend doesn't look her best in tight jeans, say so. If your dad's hair piece is a few shades off, tell him. In some, in some ways, it seems that telling the tr the truth these days is considered rude and tacky. Truth tellers are, are considered troublemakers or tattletales. Lying to get out of trouble always complicates things, especially when the truth always comes out. Being bold and taking responsibility for a bad deed can save time, humiliation, and the awful feeling that crawls over your skin as you struggle to remember what is you, what it is what is what what is was you said in the first place. You could end up with a lie that is too big to hold in memory, and a notebook may be needed to keep the times and dates straight. Parents lie to their children to avoid sensitive situations or to prevent hurt feelings, as Ellie brought up. Protecting children is a key in parenting, but lying to them is not protecting them. There's always a way to be honest with children without saying too much or telling th them things that telling them things they are too young to understand. Think about if life with think about it. Life without honesty is very difficult. With dishonesty comes mistrust, lack of communication, deceit, and hate. Life without honesty leads to insecurity and stress. Everyone, no matter how experienced, feels the pang of guilt that, that telling a lie brings. The nervousness at the thought of being caught out or can be all-consuming and lead to worry and stress. If you are caught out, your honor and trustworthiness are gone forever. So, truly, so surely it is best to be honest. 
I will agree that in sometimes being honest can be I'll agree that sometimes being honest can be too honest and seem rude. But that doesn't that does not mean to lie. That just means instead of being brutally honest with someone, let's say on their appearance, it's better to tactfully deliver it and ease to, into someone into the sometimes hurtful truth by not giving the complete hundred percent truth. Once again, that does not mean to lie. Life is about being true to oneself, and that starts with being honest, because you do not want to deceive others or yourself. Lying is a form of deception that is morally wrong. With it comes loss of character, integrity, honor, and credibility, all of which are very noble and virtuous characteristics. So honesty is always the best policy, no matter what. Vote negative.